Hi, uh, my name is Basir. In this video, we'll learn basics of chapter 9, Tangents and Secants to a Circle from class 10 on the Pradesh and Telangana State Board syllabus. Let us first understand what is a tangent and what is a secant. In this figure, I have a circle and a line. There are three possibilities here. The circle and the line may not intersect. The line may not intersect the circle uh, like here in, in case 1. <coughs> like here in case 1, the line PQ is not intersecting the circle. So I can say that the line PQ is non-intersecting here. Here in the second figure, in the second figure, the line PQ is intersecting the circle at two points A and B. Then this line PQ is known as a secant. Then the line PQ becomes a secant. So, uh, so when the line PQ and the circle have two common points A and B, then the line PQ is known as a secant. Now let us consider the third picture here. The line PQ and the circle, they have only one common point A. Then this line P PQ is known as a tangent. When the line PQ intersects a circle at only one point, then it becomes a tangent. As simple as that. Now, how many uh, tangents can you draw from a given circle? See, a circle is made up of is made up of a lot of points, right? A circle is nothing but it's it's a it is made up of a lot of points and from each point you can draw a tangent you can draw a tangent from from every point li lying on the circle now let us understand how many tangents can you draw on a given line so in this picture here i have a point p i have a point p lying on the circle and we have tried drawing um, several lines passing through the point P. We have tried drawing several lines passing through the point P. If we see uh, the line AB, the line AB is intersecting the circle at two points. It is intersecting the circle at this point P and it is also intersecting the circle at point Q1. So this cannot be a tangent because a tangent intersects the circle at only one point. It touches the circle at only one point. But this line AB is, is intersecting the circle at two points. So this is a secant and not a tangent. Let us consider an, another line here. This line that you see here, even this line is not, a, is not a tangent because even this line is intersecting the circle at two points. Let us consider another point here, A dash, B dash. A dash, B dash is also not a <clears throat> is also not a tangent because a dash b dash is intersecting the circle at q2 and p so even a dash b dash the line a dash b dash is intersecting the circle at two points so it is a secant of a circle but not a tangent the only tangent that we see here in this in uh, in this picture is a dash b dash because a dash b dash is touching the circle at only one point p so uh, from a so uh, we can only draw one tangent only we can only draw one tangent for a particular point uh, lying on a circle now in this picture we see that we have two tangents and multiple secants see <clears throat> here p dash q dash is a tangent because this line is touching the circle at only one point so this p dash q dash is nothing is a tangent and here p double dash q double dash is also a tangent because p double dash q double dash is touching the circle at only one point right so p double dash and q double dash is also a, a tangent and we see that we have a secant here pq pq is a secant because PQ is intersecting the circle at two points. PQ is intersecting the circle at two points. So PQ is 
a secant and what do you observe from this picture we, we see that there are several secants drawn here in the picture but we have only two uh, tangents in this picture so this clearly says that <clears throat> there cannot be more than two tangents parallel to a given secant if we have a secant pq we can have at most two tangents parallel to this secant <clears throat> in this picture i have a circle so this is a circle here so that's my circle and what do you say about this thing here this is a tangent why is it a tangent yeah it is a tangent because it, it, it touches the circle at only one point so the circle and the line they have only one common point so this line out here is a tangent of this circle and what else do you observe here we have drawn a radius we have drawn a radius touching the common point this common point is known as point of contact remember that this common point the common point of the circle and the line is known as point of contact or you can just remember it this way uh, the point where the line touches the circle is known as point of contact now what we did here we have drawn we have drawn a radius to the point of contact that's my point of contact and we have drawn a radius to to the point of contact and what do you see <clears throat> the tangent and the radius to the point of contact they are perpendicular to each other and they make because they are making 90 degree angle here right so always remember the <clears throat> secant uh, sorry um, the radius to the point of contact and the tangent they are always perpendicular to perpendicular to each other and the angle that forms here this angle is 90 degree let us now see how do we find out the length of a tangent here in this picture we see that ap is a tangent p is an external point p is an external point here and from p we have drawn a tangent pa from p we have drawn a tangent pa remember uh, the distance from from a given point the distance from the point to the point of contact this is the point of contact here the distance from the point to the point of co contact is known as length of tangent that is known as length of tangent so the distance from the point p to the point a point a is our point of contact right the distance from the point p to the point a is known as length of tangent we'll we'll try and find out the length of tangent in, from this picture so ap is my is my uh, tangent here ao is the radius ao is the radius to the point of contact a is the point of contact and we have drawn a radius to the point of contact here we have already seen that the radius to the point of contact and the tangent they are always perpendicular to each other so this has to be 90 degrees and clearly it is visible uh, it, it's it, it can be clearly seen that they are perpendicular to each other and the angle that it is that the radius to the point of contact and the tangent are making is 90 degrees <coughs> so this is a right angle triangle here AOP is now a right angle triangle the side opposite to right angle is hypotenuse so this is my hypotenuse take care so this is a right angle triangle i have two sides of the triangle i have this side hypotenuse which is 10 i have the other side which is 6 i have to find out ap which is my length of the tangent how do you find out ap <clears throat> since it's a right angle triangle i can pretty well apply the pythagoras theorem what is pythagoras theorem pythagoras theorem says that the square of the hypotenuse is sum of 
squares of the other two sides. What are the other two sides here? AO and AP. What is OP here? OP is 10. AO is 6. Square I'm writing as it is. AP I don't know. So AP square I'm writing as it is. 10 square is 10 into 10, 100. 6 square is 6 into 6, 36. Plus AP square, 100. Plus 36 if I take it to the left hand side, <coughs> it becomes minus 36. 100 minus 36 should be 64. So AP square is 64 which means AP should be if I remove square from the left hand side I'll have to keep a square root on the right hand side square root of 64 is 8 so the so the value of AP is 8 which means the length of the tangent is 8 units let us now uh, prove that the tangent at any point of a circle is perpendicular through the point of contact so what really I have to prove is, I have to prove that OP is perpendicular to the tangent XY. So here in the question it is saying that the tangent at any point of a circle, here <coughs> we have the point P, the point P here is the point of contact, the point P here is the point of contact and we have a tangent XY with the point of contact P and we have a radius OP drawn to the point of contact. We have to prove that this radius OP that has been drawn to the point of contact is actually a perpendicular to the uh, is perpendicular to the tangent. So what do I have to prove? Required to prove OP is perpendicular to XY. OP is perpendicular to XY. That is what they wanted us to prove. Now I'm not going to write the uh, write the complete uh, steps of the solution, but I'm going to explain it to you anyways. Um, let's say, so so this is the circle here. This is my circle, and this is the tangent that P is the point of contact. <coughs> Let us draw a point Q. Let us draw a point Q on the tangent XY. On the tangent XY, then the length of OQ is obviously greater than OP. OQ is greater than OP. Why? Because if OP is, if OQ is not greater than OP, then the point Q will obviously be inside the circle. You have learned it in lower classes that if we, if you have an external point, the distance from the center to the external point is always greater than the radius right if let us say the length OQ is not greater than OP then Q point uh, th then Q point would obviously be inside the circle and <coughs> the line XY would obviously be passing like this here the line XY should have passed like this from the Q Q is inside the circle and the line xy the line xy is passing through the point q then this line xy that you see here if it passes like this the line xy becomes a secant because it would be intersecting the circle at two points one two two points right so 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 what do we say that we say that <clears throat> this is not the scenario here the distance oq should be greater than op since Q is an external point to the circle, the distance OQ should be greater than OP. If we take any other uh, any other point on the tangent for that matter, let us say I took, took another point here. Let me uh, denote this point by the letter R. Then the distance OR, the distance OR the distance OR will, uh, will also be greater than OP. The distance OR will also be greater than OP, obviously. So this happens for every point on the, this happens for every point on this tangent except P. So this distance OP is the shortest distance. This distance OP is the shortest distance and the shortest distance to a tangent is always perpendicular to the tangent. 
so hence op is perpendicular to xy i believe i'll i'll stop the video here log on to basiracademy.com the videos the rest of the videos for this chapter will soon be available on our website and i believe the best way to seek help from me is is to just log on to uh, our website and use the chat tool to interact with me i'll see you all in the next video thanks for watching until then goodbye